welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to review MIUI 12.5 based on uh, MIUI Hellas ROM so let's get it started and let me show you from the setting and here you go you guys can see here MIUI by xiaomi MIUI.gr that means it, this is MIUI Hellas ROM and this is a stable i have already provided china stable review and uh, xiaomi.eu review already if you guys haven't watched that videos uh, please check out description and you guys can watch all those videos and you guys can see here this is MIUI 12.5 and horse new already I have provided uh, on EU and China stable video so you guys can check those videos for that and I don't want to make video longer and wallpaper personalization everything you guys will get the same like as Xiaomi.eu ROM but what's working and I found one bug in that room uh, maybe it's a deal breaker for some people and maybe not and this is not important for me so that's why I can use that room and you guys also can use and you guys can see here the wallpaper sections and we have super wallpapers and I don't recommend you guys to use super wallpapers if you use super wallpapers then you guys can face lag on UI so that's why I suggest you guys don't use the super wallpapers just use and one important thing you guys can use any third party themes no issues on that and built in so many wallpapers are available here you guys can use no problem and this is the new wallpaper and personalization section you guys can see here this section we have all those common features like you guys can change the lock screen clock here and you guys can switch I yeah, can resize icons here and you guys can change your font you can make it bold light whatever you want and icon size as well and we guys can access ringtones from here and the new ringtones they have added here and the notifications so many notifications ringtone are available here So you guys can hear and nature mix sounds and you guys can uh, combine so many notifications ringtone like this just click on plus button and it will be added and you guys can apply this is a good feature I think and we have more options and we can access alarm from here so weather alarm natural alarm so many things are there And log screen as usual what we have on EU we have all those features here and display settings we have dark mode and which is working pretty much fine and color schemes you guys can use the saturated colors font settings and allow all rotations when you are you are watching um, like uh, YouTube you guys can uh, you guys can flip your device you guys can rotate your device in 360 no problem you can uh, watch so that's why that all uh, all rotations you guys can use that feature no problem and sound and vibration like as before what we had notification and control center you guys can use MIUI 12 that notification panel or you guys can use the older one and status bar what do we have like before And home screen as usual what do we have on EU ROM all those features are available here you guys can use the search bar Google or normal search bar you guys can use that search bar you guys can see here I'm using here the Google search bar and we have the test MIUI 13 file manager you guys can see which is latest and we have updated uh, security application And we have gallery application upgraded and you guys can see we have the latest uh, MA uh, gallery you guys can see photos albums and you guys can see here the recommended so you guys can access all photos by clicking here and if you want uh, just you can uh, you want to show your camera photos then just click on that you will see here and on recommended you guys can see here the art option you guys can uh, sketch your 
photos like this uh, so many presets are available here you guys can use all those things and we have video player you guys can see uh, let me select one video here uh, I'm just selecting this one and you guys can edit this one and you guys can add filters template and uh, like this and you guys can trim captions soundtracks aspect ratio you guys can change and let me show you this so you guys can see the background music you guys can add and the aspect ratio you guys can change like this you guys can change the aspect ratio so so many customizations are available in that uh, mi gallery so you guys can use that and magic and colleagues so many things are available here so which is latest actually uh, so which is deep loader you guys can see here the application i have already provided that video and you guys can see here there is no mi browser no mi music and nothing extra I have already deployed that uh, MIUI ROM. So if you guys want to use that feature, then uh, you can watch watch my test video I have already provided, and check the description first. And now move on to the some basic things. Let me show you on my screenshots I have already taken. So you guys can see here the I have tried CPU throttling two times, and you guys can see CPU throttle to seventy six percent and this one 74 uh, percent the variation happened due to the battery percentage and battery percentage was low that time and in this video i am just going to clear one important thing the uh, safety net pass and let me show you one thing where is the uh, play store so you guys can see here about section device is certified right now because I rebooted it and one important thing run test so this is failed and so so if you want to pass safety net what do we should do right now just open your magics manager go to setting enable magic site and reboot your device it will be safety net passed let me show you now i am going to reboot my device mm -hmm. so finally device has booted now let me show you safety net passed or not so you guys can see safety net is passed this is the way actually you guys can pass safety net and if you guys uh, found here the play store is not certified then do one thing just go to play store app info and just clear the data you guys can see here the clear data just clear all data and your safety net will be passed just reboot device once i was quite surprised when i ran the geekbench score it was just awesome you guys can see the single core 266 and the multi core 1150 which is uh, really better than android 11 and this is android 10 and this is uh, this score is uh, much better than the Android 11 custom ROMs. So this was really great. And what I left, uh, we have the game turbo, but this is not the uh, this is not the updated one where we have the uh, voice changer. So that's why. And I will work on voice changer in future. So no problem. And the important thing, I will add the gameplay. The call of duty gameplay vr gameplay later in this video and now i will talk about the bug what is the main bug there's only one bug is here let me show you that you guys can't change your carrier like your mobile network carrier like this uh, let me show you setting will crash you can't change it like i have one sim here and prefer network type you guys can't change the network type huh it's working right now i'm surprised when i tried for the first time and i tried for two days it doesn't work but now it's working you can change so that was a bug and i think i removed i developed deploaded some apps and i rooted something that's why maybe it fixed right now so that was a bug you guys uh, for the first time when i tried i can't change the prefer lt prefer 3g 2g nothing that option just crashed now it's working so there is no bug in china to open five version we can use the split screen 
so many people complain about that but in that version we can use split screen easily no issues on that let me show you just open your recent menu and tap press and hold and you guys can see here this split screen option just click on that now you can use just select another application now you can use that application and you guys can uh, up and down this feature if you want to change the scale you guys can use that's the way actually no issues on that now you guys can see here the camera app there is uh, nothing changes actually i have already provided that review so that's all and you guys can see here so many tabs i have already opened it's not lagging if you guys want <laughs> uh, me to say what should i say about that then i can say there is no lag so you guys can use that if you want to use MIUI and if you love MIUI then because we have so many customizations in MIUI and so many features which we always miss on the OSP based ROM so that's why if you guys want to use then you guys can use no problem now watch the gameplay of Call of Duty and first of all let me show you the graphic settings which is low and I didn't use module here you guys can see low and high so let's play and I will show you a gameplay here. Let's see if it's uh, smoothly running or not. So you guys can see it's smoothly running. So I'm landing here, the radar base. So this is really good, you guys can see here. So you guys can see here. It's firstly working, no problem on that. Enemies near. So here is the DRH. And remember one thing I'm on legendary so you guys can't blame anything so this is working fine no issues if you play call of duty then I can blindly recommend you guys you guys can use that room no problem if you have redmi 7 and redmi y3 then please go for it if you love me why then otherwise not
so I will not play longer because uh, video will be longer so that's why there's a gameplay guys you guys can easily play Call of Duty no problem on that beer settings another enemy is there oh this is a boat so that's the gameplay guys hope you guys like that video and if you guys really like my videos please then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further updates so I hope you guys got the idea how can it perform in gaming so if you guys want to play PUBG then you guys can also play PUBG using that module I have already provided that video if you guys haven't watched yet then you guys can check that out on my channel so thank you guys thank you for watching